Durag Wisdom and folks welcome to Earth Date Y2K 17.09.29 We were slaves in America. I demand personally a national holiday status for Juneteenth Day. And I have a little quote from the Passover Haggadah. We were slaves in Egypt. People have to realize that black people were, were slaves in this country for 200 years, followed by 100 years of persecution also. Black people were slaves in America with the same brutality that the Jews, ancient Hebrews, were slaves in Egypt. Each year, for the 5,000 years plus history of the Jewish people, we celebrate our liberation from slavery during a holiday called Pesach, Passover. This so we never forget the barbaric behavior of one people against another, but also to remember the importance of freedom and liberty for all and for generations. It is time that we have a holiday here in America to remember the barbarity of slavery and to remember the liberation of black people from their chains. It is time for this holiday because the USA seems to be going backward. Because when we decided to have a white supremacist as president of our country, I knew as sure as the Jews of Nazi Europe should have known that the blood red writing of racist murder is on the wall. We Jews have vicariously placed ourselves into our 200 year enslavement to the Egyptians and our liberation therefrom through the observance of the Passover Seder. I believe it is time for the entire country, this country, America, to symbolically put themselves into the shoes of our beleaguered black brethren and understand what it was like to be enslaved through the observance of an African-Caribbean Seder that will serve as a constant reminder of what was done in the name of religion and greed to other human beings in America. There's an actual holiday called Juneteenth. That's G-U-N-E-T-E-E-N-T-H. 19th of June which marked the end of slavery in our country beginning with Texas. This should be a national holiday, including a new Seder. But it should not end there. The persecution of black people did not end with Juneteenth. Thanks to Andrew Johnson and the end of Reconstruction in the South, racist bigotry came back with Jim Crow fury and racist lynching and murder along with it. Black people suffered another 100 effing years of racist bigotry, disenfranchisement, and segregation after the end of slavery, where our society found other ways to persecute these beleaguered people. How about in the social uh, culture? Popular culture? How about those little statues they have, pe pe rich people have in front of their houses that were painted black that held a, a little lantern? Or Aunt Shemima, or Uncle Ben, or all the movies throughout the 20s, the 30s, the 40s, the, you know, even in the 50s that depicted black people in a stereotypical light. It's almost a plot to keep these people down. Imagine if you were Emmett Till, a black youngster from the north visiting his relatives in the south during the early 1950s. Imagine that during your visit you commit the crime, the crime of whistling at an attractive looking white woman. 
Do you feel the fear winding in your guts now? That you see your family is panicking? Your friends and relatives who saw you do this? And now are hurrying your ass out of the vicinity so you can be safe? That was only the beginning of the nightmare for this child. Of the God. White Christians are always screaming about, Love, love, love! They didn't have any love for Emmett Till, let me tell you. Emmett Till could not imagine that he had left the USA when he entered Mississippi. Down south, whites could routinely force their way into the private homes of black people and remove anyone they wanted to murder as they did to Emmett Till. During the 20s, the 30s, the 40s, the 50s, when this horrific murder occurred. Authorities found the 14-year-old tortured and murdered body in the Tallahatchie River. After he was forcibly removed from his relative's house in the manner I described. Just break in, take him out. Again, the persecution of black people continued for 100 years. Prominent black communities like Rosewood in Florida and Greenwood in Tulsa, Oklahoma were burned to the ground during white racist generated riots where hundreds, including children and babies, were murdered, massacred. Look up Greenwood, look up Rosewood. Black people during this 100 year, like after slavery was abolished, I mean, Juneteenth was a short celebration because the white racist, with the help of the white racist American government that time, grinded on and on and on. You know, they destroyed Malcolm X's family. They destroyed it. I'm talking about racism. Totally destroyed it. Read about it. The autobiography of Malcolm X. Black people were denied their voting rights, housing rights, education rights, under the filthy noses of our whites only government at that time. Which, by the way, it's now a whites only government. Look at this bastard traitor's cabinet. Look at the GOP. Imagine being Emmett Till and being tortured and murdered because of who you are. Once we can walk in the shoes of our black neighbors, we can begin healing our race relations. Juneteenth should be a national holiday and have its own Seder. Sit around. Relate the story of what happened to people during slavery times and how they fought for their liberation. None of us in the USA should be allowed to forget our racist dark side and the imperialistic religious extremism that gave us permission to persecute other peoples of our planet with impunity. And that's all peoples of colors. Brown, red, yellow, olive skinned. When we elected our first African American president, my hope for our future did not last. I knew that the racist sickness that helped to found our country was not dead because we followed one of our best presidents with a racist bigot named. Donald, John, tax evader, birther, bastard, Trump, traitor. Lock him up! Lock him up! Who, along with his white supremacist base, those 32% that in the polls support him, wants to bring all of that nightmare of slavery, discrimination, chain gangs, lynchings, and murder back. 
We cannot forget and cannot forgive what was done to black Americans, many of whom, whose ancestors were slaves in this American Egypt. Juneteenth must be inscribed in our hearts and in our minds, or else the racist bullies will return to do worse. Never again! Never again!